Hey everyone, thanks for watching. I'm Alex, this is AMRC, and today I'm going to show you what I was able to design for the UMX Twin Otter. And maybe it can work or it can be adapted on other UMX planes or even larger ones. So I designed these 3D printed skis that allow you to keep the wheels on while using them. They're printed just out of regular PLA on a basic 3D printer. And I've used 15% infill with these. And they weigh just four grams a piece. So for three skis, you're gonna have 12 grams added total to the plane. And this is one installed on the main landing gear. You can see it still allows the wheel to roll so if you have to land on hard surface you can still uh, taxi and also I do like this design because rather than the ski taking the whole impact the wheel should take some of it as well or most of it in many cases depending on the snow and just a short disclaimer on the front wheel uh the bottom piece of the wire wasn't long enough so i just made one of these uh, wheel mounts out of 1.2 millimeter wire this is the stock one i didn't add that rounded part it doesn't do much anyway if you ask me this is still flexible and with these I've designed them so they do have a bit of play they're not fixed in place but they won't go up or down too much and I'm gonna show you how you can install these not very hard and hopefully I'll go out and test it. I've had several versions of these. See here. About six or seven versions. I did get to test uh, these. And they're almost okay. The only thing is I... Oh, sorry, I'm trying to get this to focus. They're just flat with this uh, angle at the front and they would dig into snow so went back to the drawing board and I added a bit of a tip here. I tested them a bit last night and seemed to do the job. Now this also depends on the type of snow you're flying on. When I first tried them out, it was very soft powdery snow, so that might also be a factor. Okay, so you need to take, us, uh, take out these black wheel stops. The outer one is glued in place, and the wheel, and the other one, make sure you don't lose them. Okay, then what do you do? You insert one side, then one of these stoppers. So the outer one has a bit of glue on it so it doesn't fall off. Make sure you put that on the outside. Okay, then you slide the wheel in. Now the trickiest part is getting this outer one on. There's not a lot of wiggle space here, but it's just enough so you can get it in. Okay, you need to be careful not to 
put too much pressure on these supports or powers I don't know how to call them because if you've printed PLA before you know you can't really make these strong enough okay and that's it the wire pokes out just a bit stay fixed in place and yeah these are pretty strong this is one of the earlier versions I printed yeah, like you can really really bend them and they won't break well, the cold might affect that if you're flying in snow but I think under most circumstance, circumstances they would be pretty okay to use okay. and another pro tip if you didn't know this the top foam in most UMX planes packaging is perfect when working on these the bottom of them and a nice thing on the twin otter is the gear just snaps in place like some of the timbers where there's screws holding them in and the benefit of that you can easily take the landing gear off when you need to put it in the box i keep all of mine in the boxes i think that's the safest and most convenient for me to transport them okay so that's all there is to it don't have a battery in it so it's a bit tail heavy you can see it rolls so shouldn't be a problem and you can see they still have uh, that flexibility in them see the tails touching the ground and wheels are still functioning so shouldn't have any problem from that point of view okay so I'm gonna try and go out and hopefully have a successful taxi test and flight with these stay tuned okay guys here we are outside in the snow I'm trying to do this quick because we have a wind warning coming up in the next hours and I'm at my old flying site behind my house this is how it looks during the day now. I've been flying here only at night recently. So without further ado, let's hope this goes well. Okay, throttle cut off. Here goes nothing. Nope, it's digging in. And I do believe it's also because of the soft snow. Let me try it again. Just had a fresh layer of snow last night. I'm gonna use full up elevator. Yep. Let me see if I can find some more compact snow. The snow we had was a bit frozen and worked just fine. I don't want to break these props. Ah, so close. Nope, still doesn't want to. And I think the snow that builds up on them doesn't help you guys. I still want to fly this thing since I charged the battery. So I'm going to try a hand launch and see maybe the landing goes better. No problems in the air so far.
the loops fine. Yeah, probably floats are a better solution for this fluffy snow. I don't know if I can make these skis much better without adding too much weight. But, you know, skis are also bulky. I saw that when I flew my UMX Turbo Timber the other day. It was very slow in rolls and loops. That's why I wanted to try this ski thing. And as I said, I tried a previous version a few days ago. Had the same problems with this powder snow, but it did take off from asphalt just fine, so. At least the wheels are still functional. Hopefully, I'll find some firmer snow soon. I really want to see this taking off from the skis and snow. I'll probably get a float set as well pretty soon. When I ordered this, uh, they weren't in stock and I couldn't back order them either, so. I just got this. Such a nice point. Love it. It's not very fast, but for my scale flight, it's just right. I won't lie, I'm a bit disappointed. Couldn't take off from the ground, from the snow, but hey, I'll uh, upload these online so you can download them for free if you want to try them. Of course, I'm not the best at 3D design or modeling, so maybe someone can the design or come up with a better one because I really love the look of this I got inspiration from uh, some real snow water skis it's a bit fast on the landings doesn't like to slow down let's try this again started snowing so oh it's really far out there it's coming back okay not a bad landing actually kind of happy with that skis did their job Maybe the snow here is better. Now, nah, wing dug in. Probably some drag from all the snow gathering on them. But overall I'm happy. It was a nice flight. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, comments, ideas, let me know. 
Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye.